July 14th is Bastille Day, the French national holiday. It marks the 1789 storming of the Bastille, which was sort of like a state prison that held people who had not been fairly tried. It also held a cache of ammunitions and gunpowder, which was necessary in order to pave the way for the French Revolution. Whatever. No more history. Today, we are celebrating by making a Bastille Day quiche or omelette. For this, you will need eggs. We are using duck eggs because they are delicious and the white is whiter than a regular egg. You'll see the importance for that in a few seconds. Something red and something blue. Beets. We have done this video with the American flag, the Canadian flag, and like I said in previous videos, it's difficult to find something blue in nature. I was going to make this quiche or omelette with blueberries, but that would just be disgusting. So we are reusing the beets, which is going to be the blue part of the French flag. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is crack the eggs. Oh, sorry, no, the first thing we're gonna do is oil the pan so that the eggs don't stick once they are cracked. Where is the oil in this house? Avocado oil. Rub the excess oil into your hands because it's good for eczema and dry skin. A trick that I like to do is put pepper on the bottom of the pan. It'll add some flavor. And we need some salt. Okay, and now we crack the eggs. So I initially wanted to do an omelette instead of a quiche because I found the history of the omelette to be totally incredible. I never knew it before. Apparently, Napoleon's army was roaming the countryside and Napoleon was served an omelette by an innkeeper and he found it so delicious, he gathered all the eggs in the village for the next day to make an omelette for all of his soldiers. Totally cool. Regardless, we are doing a quiche because that is also traditionally French. 18 goose eggs. We are saving six more goose eggs for reasons that you will see in a few minutes, but let's stir this around. Just one second. I have to preheat the oven. I have to preheat the oven. 375. Okay, so it seems that quiche is definitively of French origins. The first term was used in 1605, give or take, and it was quiche Lorraine, uh, which was an area of France. Now, I'm not sure if what I'm cooking can be considered a quiche because quiche has to have pastry crust around it. So I'm gonna call mine a quiche omelet. Quiche omelet sounds good. Because this quiche cannot just be empty eggs, we're adding some vegetables for nutrients. Refried asparagus and orange pepper. Spread them around evenly. And then we're gonna put it into the oven, not to cook all the way through, just to cook so that it's a little bit firm and you're gonna see why in a second. Salt. All right, it's in. Hey, what you doing? I am making a French flag quiche for Bastille Day. Mm, Thank you for asking. <laughs> Some more interesting history about the origins of the French flag. According to French general Gilbert du Motier, Marquis de Lafayette, white was the ancient French color and was added to the militia cockade to create the tricolore, the three colored flag that we know today. The flag was adopted in 1790. Tricolor was brought back after the July Revolution and has been used ever since, since 1830. I don't know whose kids these are, but uh, do I, I don't have any more kids. I know whose kids these are. Hello. All right. Um, in person. <laughs> get out, get out, get out. Daddy's cooking, move it. Now we are getting into why I left six eggs on the side. Okay, so we're gonna crack these eggs. Okay, now we're gonna take the yellows out of the eggs. And now we are going to use the white. For the white part of the flag, we are going to use the yellow mixed with sriracha sauce. Sriracha, sriracha sauce. We're gonna mix the yellow mixed with a little red sauce for the red, and we're going to use pickled beets for the blue. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay. It's a little bit cooked. Now we are going to apply the cheese. I baked it for a few minutes before applying the cheese so that the cheese stays on top a little better. Okay, and we will be back in about 15 minutes to add the top layers. This is going to be for the white of the tricolore. This is going to be for the red. How, you might ask? That's a lot of sriracha. The last thing we need now is the blue. This is actually homemade pickled beets from my aunt-in-law. Ah! Did it hurt? I just caught myself. 
We are going to dice the beets into a fine, semi-solid... I read somewhere that they were superfood. Good enough! All right, I'm actually impressed with myself at this idea. In order to make sure that the different sections of the flags don't bleed into the other, I've taken some aluminum foil, made like these little divider walls and sort of placed them in the egg so that now I can lay down the different colors and let it cook with the rest of the quiche. I'm so smart. The beet for the blue section, the egg white for the white section, sriracha and yolk for the red section. Ça c'est une merveille! C'est magnifique! Je suis incroyablement fier de moi-même. <laughs> and now the ultimate test. Have I impressed mother-in-law? <laughs> open, open up, open up the pan. Just don't touch it, but just look at it. But don't touch it. Oh my god. <laughs> test number two. The wife. Mary, come look at this. And to celebrate it, we have Le Mignon. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Now everyone taste it! Okay, we're doing the inaugural cut. To explain what we have here, this is a quiche with roasted fried orange peppers, refried asparagus on the bottom. Then there's a layer of cheese under the tricolore. Then on the layer of cheese is pickled beets, egg with egg white only, egg with egg yellow only, and sriracha sauce and a little bit of salsa to make it a little bit redder. Okay, we're gonna need to mix the three flavors up. Look at this, everyone's gonna get a mini French flag on their plate. Who wants this one? No one. Oh, out of the mouth of children. Just get out of here. <laughs> no hesitation either, yes. By the way, do we agree that this is beautiful? Okay. That one's good. It's actually deliciously good. Pickled beets. Oh, it's so good. All right, look at that one. Sriracha, egg yolk, cheese. Asparagus part. Happy Bastille Day. Bastille Day. <laughs>